I had to learn how to set a social enterprise up, all the technical legalities of it. I didn't have that experience, so I connected with Simon VC here at IAC, who really put me through some of the steps I'd have to take. And we've grown from a small social enterprise with big goals to actually getting out now into the community and delivering a lot of construction courses to excluded groups. Project Pigsty is changing a old piggery into a community space that can be used all year round. It's very important to get the grant because it gives the farm a use all year round. Now it gives us a warm, suitable area that can be maintained and used for everybody. The surface was becoming dangerous and it needed to be repaired every single year to follow all the health and safety regulations. We have now got an absolutely magnificent top range BMX track which is used by people within the village but also from other villages so it's been brilliant. HS2 very kindly paid for the platform around the mill. The old platform was pretty rotten and it's quite dangerous for people operating the mill to walk round. We get people who are just saying, oh, we just saw it off, on, off the main road and we just had to come to have a look. It is just so lovely to see the mill back up in operation again. It, it gives the village back its heart. development of Wendover Woods has been some 17 years in the making. It's involved a complete redevelopment of the car park, the visitor centre and welcome building. Every visitor that comes up and sees the development is really pleased to have such a friendly facility on their doorstep. funding that we got from HS2 has gone towards completely renovating an area so that we can provide services for the local community to grow vegetables and plants and flowers. Dog walkers are enjoying the new space with the new paths and lawn and it's helped them to become a much more safe environment. The Community and Business Funds aim to leave a legacy in communities that have been disrupted by the construction of HS2 and we can see the impact in communities already by improving community facilities, supporting employment and skills projects for example or enhancing tourist facilities but we also want to be a good neighbour through this programme and support communities in many years to come.